NutriCalc has over 12,500 ingredient entries in its database as standard, but you can also add as many of your own custom ingredients as you like. In this video, we're going to be showing just how easy it is to create and manage your own custom ingredients, and how NutriCalc can even assist you with your ingredients nutrition information. To get started, we'll click the pink plus button here in the Ingredient Center. We're on the premium plan here, so we have an extra option to choose between general ingredient and meat ingredient. But if you don't see this, you'll be creating a general ingredient. Let's enter our ingredient name, and there's also an optional labeling name for use in the ingredient declaration report, which we're going to paste in from the clipboard here. In the Nutrients tab, we can start to fill in the nutrition information we have available. In order to achieve the most accurate results, it's best practice to enter as much information as you can. You'll notice that we see some yellow triangles here. These are essential nutrients to enter as they contribute to the energy values. As we begin to enter more information, you'll see more guide messages appearing, but it's fine to ignore these until you've completed entering all of the data. On completion of entering the data available, the software is able to assist with calculating some missing nutrients, including the breakdown of fat and carbohydrate. Simply expand the triangle and select the appropriate action. In this case, we can see that the software offers a missing starch value of 2.7, based on the carbohydrate minus sugars value, and this will be appropriate for most ingredients. Therefore, we're going to select Use Calculated Value. Doing the same for the fat breakdown, we are offered options to either split evenly or base the information on another ingredient. Split evenly is usually the least ideal option if there's insufficient information on the origin of the fat of the product. So we're going to choose Base On and choose from the drop-down options. In this case, we're using plain chocolate. Here we can see that the energy values provided to us by the supplier are wrong, assuming that the main macronutrients are correct. The correct kilocalorie energy value for this ingredient, based on the legislation requirement, is 548, and for kilojoules it should be 2,279. Scrolling down to run a final check, we can see that the moisture value is also missing, and expanding the triangle offers a calculated moisture of 3.7. We recommend that you use this value. The quality of the nutrition report should now be as good as possible. Ingredients that may be used regularly can be marked as favourites by clicking the star next to the name here. We can now save, and our ingredient is instantly ready to be used in a recipe calculation. For further information about NutriCalc and more in-depth tutorials, visit our help pages, watch our other videos and sign up for your free seven-day trial so you can see for yourself why we are trusted by thousands of nutrition professionals.